Sevi, I feel like it's definitely a long time coming for you that you head into an all-star break where you're feeling this good about your game all together as a team and where you guys are right now. How just huge was that for you guys tonight, given what happened last night? Yeah, we definitely had an off night last night. We hung our goalie out to dry. We all know that. So um, I feel bad for Blocky in that regard. But, um, you know, VTEG made some great saves for us tonight. Our overall game was a lot better tonight. And um, it's sure nice going in an all-star break in a playoff position. We want to make sure we hold on to that and uh, keep getting better. What was the biggest difference for you guys? Was it just a matter of paying attention to those details that really got away from you last night? Yeah, maybe a little bit. We just weren't as sharp on our breakouts. We just kind of had an, it was just an off night. You just, you, everyone could kind of see it and you kind of feel it. It was uh, the, right from the puck drop, it seemed like the puck really wasn't bouncing our way and it wasn't, uh, wasn't our best night. So no excuses. Um, there's two teams out there and both teams got to play. Um, but overall, uh, they just outplayed us last night, and tonight we um, we ended up grinding out a good win on a back-to-back -back road game. What can you possibly say more about the way VTech played, especially you know that second, third period, just really keeping you guys finding yeah. that extra stride? Absolutely, just big saves when we need them, and um, you know years past that hasn't been the case, and unfortunately that's buried us in games. And um, this year it's been a key to our success is our goaltending. So we, we look forward to those guys even getting better for us and keeping those uh, you know pucks out of the net and making those key saves when we need them. When all those penalties happened in that first period in particular, it almost you know they go up to nothing. Was there any reservation about sort of how things were going given what happened last night and what was maybe said in the second in the first intermission? Uh, we just we just had to get to our game. Obviously, um, you travel. It's uh, you know it's a back to back. It's not easy. So. Um, but again, you can't you can't make excuses. We have to play the game, and um, we did that in a second. We we came out hard in the second. We were able to um, put up a couple goals on the board and, and play the right way. And then in the third, it was just kind of a couple chances here, a couple chances there. But more or less, uh, both teams didn't really want to give up much. They just wanted to be smart, and, and ultimately we got the win in overtime. What has it been like watching Jack and who he's become uh, this season? It's just it's impressive to watch, even from uh, obviously seeing him as a rookie come in. You can see the skill and the talent, but now the, the understanding of the NHL game and um, just the progression, how much better he's gotten over these years. So, um, and it's you know it's crazy to say because he's playing so well right now, but I don't even think he's peaked yet. So, um, it's it's fun to watch him. It's fun to give him the puck. Fun to uh, make plays with him out there and. Um, I would give him a hard time because we said that shot was a cannon. Uh, we don't see him take slap shots very often, but um, yeah. a good deflection, good bounce for him, and, and a big win for our team. Do you feel like this is almost like the second halfway mark of the point? There's obviously the 41 mark, but now the all-star break. And what happens next for you guys? What is that next stage? Well, yeah, we're almost at game 50. I think we're one game away, so um, big um, big things are ahead. We, we got... So about a month till um, till the deadline, I guess, and and then um, and then you're looking forward to you know there's going to be some teams that are sellers, buyers, and that's just kind of how every year goes. And we're we're in a position this year where we're, we're in a good spot, and um, it's a little bit different because I've seen a lot of good players and good guys um, get moved at the deadline to you know hopefully get a chance to win the, the ultimate prize. So now hopefully we're going to be bringing guys in to to help us do, do that thing. So um, it's just kind of you know looking at. The next few months and you take it game by game and again just try to get better with every every single day that goes by and um, we're in a playoff position now it's nice to see that but we, we want to keep on climbing and um, want to get to the top. Thanks Abby. VTech, do you need a, an all-star break after a game like this? You know it's uh, it's nice to get the all-star break a little bit uh, a little bit clean the head you know uh, not thinking about the hockey but still you know you have to uh, do something on the all-star break to you know come back and then it's going to be hard. What was that, you know, that entire game like for you? It just felt that they kept coming at you, but those were some high rate, highlight real saves you were making there. Yeah, I mean, the first period was really tough. You know, they scored two goals, and then uh, we come back in the second period. I, I knew it. It's going to be hard. It's back-to-back, uh, -back, you know. We fly a straight two hours, so it's, it's not easy. Like, uh, And then I know I have to... Step it up one period, and it was the second one, and I did, and I'm so happy for that. And then uh, the guys uh, battle in third period, and then we finish it in overtime. In that first period, did Jamie Ben just get a little too close to you? Because at one point you went right up. No, there. he just slashed me. You know, like it's it's so many times I told the ref, and then like I don't want to break my uh, wrist. You know, like so just piss. Sometimes it's good. To speak up for yourself. <laughs> like that. Um, Vitek, I know it's hard to necessarily talk about yourself given the team mentality, but how proud are you of where you've gotten your game right now? Nine consecutive wins. That's not nothing. 
I mean, it's uh, it's great, you know. Like it's uh, it's really nice to uh, go like that. I'm uh, really proud of the VTEC, you know. And then uh, I hope you're gonna keep going, and then uh, and then the team uh, do the same thing like what they're doing. And what is the next step for this team right now? As you guys go into the break and you're coming into, you know, really that final stretch of the season. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be still hard, you know, playoff. Uh, make the playoffs you know it's still so many games so we have to keep going like uh, what we're doing right now and then uh, we're gonna get there so how important is these couple of days i mean it's important for everybody clean the head you know get uh, a little bit of vacation and then uh, come back stronger talk about just how special jack hughes has been to you guys it's not two goals including the game winner in overtime yeah i mean you can see he's something special you know like he He's so smooth. His hands is so so easy, and he's just skating there. Like it's it's great to watching him. Thanks, Woody. Yeah, you. Woody, how good did it feel for you to just get that goal, given the you know the drought that you had kind of been on? Yeah, it did feel good. Um, you know, it was great that we won as well. Uh, Jack's been playing outstanding this whole year, and um, for him to come up big like that at the end. Um, just is absolutely crazy. It's thirty second goal or something like that this year, and um, he's a big part of this team. And um, yeah, it was great to win here. I, I see you deflecting from <laughs> from you scoring, or which I totally understand. But let's c focus on the team game then. Mm -hmm. To be able to be where you guys are right now in the standings, going into an All Star break, this is kind of new territory for you who have been here, and that must feel good. Yeah, it is new for me because <laughs> um, our playoff year, we were kind of. Scra out. like scraping it out all the way till the end um, so it is new uh, it makes the break a little more easier to enjoy <laughs> and uh, can't wait for it um, you know the guys have looked forward to this for a while now um, you know it's been a grind of uh, you know the last month or so with the travel so uh, you know it's time to sit back and recharge the batteries and what does it say about the group given the way things went last night to be able to come out and have this performance against a Dallas team that yeah, you know, the Stars, yeah, the Stars have been great. Um, you know, they're a playoff team. Um, they have a lot of vets on that team that know how to win. Um, like I said, our schedule has been crazy. Back-to-back um, -back with a flight out of Nashville and then playing at a 7.30 game here tonight. Um, but, yeah, the guys, guys played well. V played outstanding again, and uh, it was great to win. That's what I was going to go to for a last question here, just seeing the way VTech played, uh, making those saves. I mean, wh what are you thinking when you either see him when you're on the ice or when you're on the bench and what he's doing? Yeah, I don't get how he can make those saves um, when he's sprawling on his back and then he just throws up a glove and saves it. Um, he's a great guy, uh, outstanding player, outstanding human being, and uh, very fortunate to have him on our team. Thanks, Woody. Enjoy your break. Thanks.